What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm getting ready to start a pretty big project in the shop and well, it's gonna take up, well, this bay over here, this bay over here and possibly this bay over here as well. So before I start destroying my shop with parts, cars, trucks, grease, everything, tools all over the place, I want to do a little bit of maintenance on a daily driver app. Um, this thing kind of has been giving me a couple issues over the last week, I would say. And what I mean by issues is throwing wheel bearings at me, okay? So if you remember a few weeks back, not weeks, a few months, videos, whatever, back, I put a lowering kit on this truck and well, I did put new bearings in there and I'm just gonna say they were manufacturer's defects because I know I greased the ever-living piss out of those things, okay? And I don't know why they came apart, but what I need to do now is do a couple maintenance things on this truck, get it back on the road. Uh, this truck is kind of a, Gets me to and from the town. Do what I want to do, or kind of moves things around, takes all my trash to my dumpster. Um, what I mean by takes all the trash to my dumpster is, well, that right there, that right there, that's a long walk, all right? So I'll throw everything in this truck and we'll just drive it around. So much easier. Nobody wants to walk 30 feet, but anyways. Got a couple things I want to get done on this. I'm going to get some uh, wheel bearings swapped out. I've got to replace the spindle. When that bearing came out, uh, that lowering spindle decided it's going to waller itself out. Not only that, the inside of the rotor also decided to enlarge itself. So while I'm under there, might as well swap some shocks. Let's go and change some tie rod ends. Let's go and change some sway bar bushings. Let's just change it all, everything under there. So that way when the things I just swapped today now break again next week, at least it ain't going to be so hard to get the bolts out. So. All right, so I'm gonna go over a couple of little things that we do have. I see little things, these things are big. All right, these are things that are about 80 pounds a piece. No, not really, probably 40 pounds a piece. But uh, here's the new rotors. This is the dually, so it looks a lot different than your standard rotors. Uh, gotta swap the rotors out. We've got some inners, got the inner bearings right here. Did switch manufacturers just in case. You well, I switched them because I know that was a problem, not because they were not greased correctly. Uh, got some new bearings, inner and outer bearings. Also got some inch and a quarter energy suspension, greasable uh, sway bar bushings. I'm under there, might as well swap these out. Uh, some new front shocks, inner and outer tie rod. And something that's going to be very, very important for this whole build and everything is, well, these are uh, Sweet Patina Tech Wipes. Guys, if you guys don't have some Sweet Patina Tech Wipes, you are missing out. That means you ain't doing enough work in your job, in your shop, and you ain't doing getting greasy enough. So... If you can do anything with some grease, anything with parts, anything that really you gotta wash your hands up with, guys, go get you some of this. This stuff is amazing. Not only that, I don't know if you can smell, like get in there. Like, <laughs> these things smell amazing, all right? Um, but no, seriously, these things, is there even more in there? <laughs> Look at that, I just ran out. That's, that's how much I use it, I don't even have any more, so, but. Have no fear, okay, because when I tell you this stuff's good, I mean it's good. Look at this, all right? In the little tool room, whatever you want to build. I've got tech wipes, right? I've also got some stuff we're going to need to help break them bolts loose on any of that. And that right there, well, that's a little bit of a skeet skeet, all right? I promise you, you will not find a bolt that these will not free up. Uh, don't worry about the patina sauce and the also fresh and clean and happy endings, but we are going to need another one of these, so. Like I said, needed for this job 110%. Uh, guess I don't need that one anymore. Uh, go get you. Oh, yeah, they also. It even comes with nice koozies. When you buy some of their products, nice koozies. They got some cool uh, stickers as well, some signage, whatever. But the best part about every bit of this is, well, I can put that thing anywhere I want, so. Just a quick little, hey, uh, you might want to go get you some of that stuff because <clears throat> you're going to need it for this job. All right, I ain't got no promo code. I ain't got no sponsorship from them guys or nothing like that, but that's how well I like this product. It's just, I'm going to throw that out to you guys. If you need some of that stuff, get over there and check their site at sweetpatina.com. I promise you, you're going to enjoy every bit of that stuff. Plus, it's reasonably priced. So let's get over there to the uh, old Big Hips Betty over there and start swapping all these parts out. 
Let me show you exactly what was going on with this thing. So outer bearing decided it was going to just liberate itself from the truck. Didn't want to be a part of the party anymore. And well, completely tore that race all up. The cage that holds all the bearings in came out. Everything decided it's going to ride on the inside of this right there. And that's going to give me all the little shark teeth on the inside of my rotor. Hence, new rotors, everything else. Flattened out basically the spindle nut threads. Okay. So I went ahead and I already took off the spindle. And, well, before I put the spindle back on, this is where why we're going to change the tie rods, shocks, and go ahead and put a new, well, not really a new one because it's never had one, is the sway bar outer bushing there. That was doing a lot of clinging and clanging and banging, so let's just go ahead and give it what it wants, okay? All right, let's get the uh, brake caliper out of the way. Uh, and for all you OSHA inspectors and, well, and my uncle, there's a jack stand and we have a jack. So when old Harbor Freight decides it's going to fail, Harbor Freight number two is going to come in there and, you know, save my legs, my, my ribs, my lungs, whatever. But don't worry, we're being safe. Let's get the uh, caliper out of the way and go ahead and get this tie rod out first. And I cannot stand cotter bins. Ugly. A lot more easier ways to do these. Oh, oh these are bad. All right, what is that there? Being like 15, 16. my Wheaties this morning. Come on, boot. What is that spinning? Nope. Let's go ahead and go get a tie rod separated for that and pop her loose. Look guys, you guys are going to be with me. I'm going to try to do as very little cutting in this video as possible. So as long as I'm in this shop, you guys are going to be in the shop with me, okay? We'll see anyways until one of my kids need me or my wife needs me to go do something or we're going to take my kids to basketball or baseball or softball. You guys got me till then.
Oh. Probably should have left those off the uh off the rail. Oh that thing ain't light. No, not too bad of a chunk. All right, I think until we were uh, so rudely interrupted, I think this is about all. Yep, that's all. Sweet. Now the old shock. Now that shock is holding this lower control, and there's nothing holding in between there. So hopefully, and there's no tension on this spring <laughs> as I grab it. And there, there you go. No tension on it. That should come out eh, fairly easy. Come on, baby. Come now. Pretty sure the mechanics back in the day they had to have been giants or just crazy good arm strength because they got them things on there tight. All right, but Hardly anything came out of that spring. Nobody's eye got taken out today, unfortunately for the viewers. Because we all know people get on this stuff. We'd like to see somebody get hurt somewhere. Nope, just kidding. I don't want to get hurt. Oh, yeah. Almost lost a shin. Come on, you know you want that. Oh, there it is. All right, let's get that tie rod right over to the bench. We'll take some measurements on there and set up the new one. I don't see nothing wrong with those. All right, let's get these old hunk some meat off of here. Go. That one didn't. Uh. Actually, those weren't too half bad. A little crunchy, but not as loose as I thought they were going to be. But they did grease them pretty regular. Anyways. All right, so before I'm going to do this, I'm going to kind of take an orientation, whatever you want to call it. It's not even orientation, it's just a measurement from here to there. I don't know why I said orientation, but just to get it close, I am going to get this truck aligned again because it definitely needs it. Oh, 16 inches. So we'll break this free, get find the outers, find the inners. What are you doing? Those are the same. Those are the same. Hmm. L T R T. That must be left and right. All right, let's get these separated. Now, remember I told you earlier, ain't a bolt I can't find. I can break. I can't break on this. So, I want to get y'all in on that. So. Yeah, I'll gotta see what that's got to do.
Now, I didn't say it was still not going to be a pain in the butt to break free. But the point is, they break free. They don't round off. I know how some people like to, you know, round nuts off, round bolts off. Nope. Not in this shop. We do not like rounded bolts off. Wow. I should have just got a whole new setup. I don't want to have to take this stuff apart. I don't know what I was thinking. But that's loose enough to spin that out of there. Good deal going out. Getting new ones. I don't know why I just don't cut the dig and thing out. Sitting here fighting all this, unbolting everything, and cut it out. Much easier. Oh man, what? I got my nice new shirt all greasy. Oh well. Now I want to get these things close as well. Yes, it's 16 inches overall, but if you set one way down in here on the thread, you're not going to have enough adjustment for alignment. So I want to see it's about from the center, about six and three quarters on the center, and the rest will go to that one. I'm going to use the smallest tie rod fork here and put it on the outside because it, it fits. Oh. Hm. Ain't going to hurt. See that? Freeze it right on up. Which one is the other? This one must be the best. Yep. Let's see, one's a little bit shorter than the other. So this is gonna be the inner tie rod. This is gonna be your outer. The Moog problem solver. Hmm. Well, hopefully it solves my problem. Because if it don't mean Mr. Moog or Mrs. Moog, I don't know which one it is. We're gonna have to have to have a talk, okay? You didn't fix my problem. Actually, you know what? I wasn't even having steering problems. I just wanted to replace the stuff because I like new shiny stuff. Center on the right. Ooh, 16. On the money. All right. What are we going to do next? Go ahead and get the shock opened up. We'll get that shock back on. I'm not going to put these bolts in yet. Like I said, they're going to have to get the alignment. They're going to have to break those free anyways. I'll get new hardware and slap them on there. But we can at least get this side put back in the truck, get a new shock in, and start putting that whole spindle back together. Let's do it. Box. That's on there. Let's go ahead and get the tire back in. Yeah, got in there. Okay. 
All this kind of stuff. Spring, go back in there, make sure we're getting the cup right. And yeah, let's go and put the shock right. Get all this extra weight out of here. Huh? All right, I went ahead and moved the jack. Got kind of underneath that lower control arm. Got the spring kind of set in its perch where we need to. That way, it'll help us get that shock on there. Got the new washer on top. Come on, baby. Just get out there. Yep. Other washer. Good, 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 good torque on it. You should hear it. Here's it. Oh, that's nice. Your old elbow torque. That'll do it every time. Every single time. That's the torque squeal. Torque squeal means good and tight. All right, let's get to up this way. We're pushing on now. Since we got the jack under there and everything, we're ready to go. All right, move over to this side. All right, let me go ahead and get the jack up on it. Let's see if I can get that lower control on a little closer. Down a little bit. Nuts and bolts. it for this evening i have got to get my two boys to a baseball clinic uh but tomorrow morning we will get back at it uh get the rotor in get the spindle in get the bearings in and basically get this thing put back together we will see you in the morning what is up it is the next morning and today well with fingers crossed and with uh, no hiccups we got to get this truck done today okay we left off yesterday we had to put the spindle on we got to put the rotor in we got to put the bearings in basically get this truck put back together uh Tomorrow I've got another truck coming in this shop, so I've <laughs> we gotta get this one done. Um, so no more jibber jabbering, let's just get at it. Uh, let's go. All right, we got the uh, spindle right here, everything else in here. Um, close to being good to go, we've got the sway bar bushings tightened down. I've gotta put the new castellated nut on the tie rod ends. Uh, shock's all good to go. So now we've gotta get this in here. That's gonna sit somewhere in there like that. That thing will a little ball drill. 
cooperate. That one. This is from the hardware. Don't think I want to reuse them cotter pins. Actually, I don't even believe there's cotter pins in them, those last ones. So back to your parts. Parts. More parts. Only looking. Cotter pins. All right, we got the cotter pin. This is a big old one inch. I'll get smoked down to, let's call it anywhere from 40 to I don't know, 85 foot pounds plus or minus. Whatever I want it to be. Now we're going to get it smoked down pretty tight and then going to get it backed up to tighten down to the closest cotter pin hole. About a half a castle away. There it be. There it be. One down, one to go. All right, let's get over to the bench. Get some bearings all greased up. Put into the old rotor. All right, we got the rotor up here. We've got the, uh, this one's be, gonna be the inner bearing. This is gonna be your outer bearing. Now, I'm gonna make sure these are really good and bit greased. Uh, in the past, I've used just taken a bunch of that stuff. You put it on your hand. Um, work it through these bearings kind of like that the idea is to get that grease into every one of those little holes there get it around every piece of those uh, roller bearings basically make it nice and thick in there now i've got this uh, basically bearing packer the bottom half that's just all the grease that's kind of staying stored in there there's a separator between two o-rings kind of so you don't, that stuff doesn't blow through uh just to cover here nothing too crazy and well this just screws off here and you're off. basically you drop your bearing down inside of there this taper on this cone here you want to sit down inside of your bearing kind of centered up a little bit don't have to go crazy just kind of get it snug on there and let's see if you can see it on there let's see if I can down a little bit. Well, basically, we're just gonna push. As we're pushing, this grease is coming up. Uh, there's a bunch of holes in the bottom of there. It should. There you go. Now, that is 110% greased all inside of that. There's no way nothing can get past that. The wheel seal on. Now let's give the uh, 
Let's give the axle good coating. Uh, go ahead and put the heat washer in. Big honking nut. Big honking nut. Come on, get on there. Cinch it all the way down. Got a key ready. Bang. Um, now, what is this? Like an inch and a quarter or something. Yep, inch and a quarter. All I'm gonna do is just keep spinning it until this thing pretty much stops spinning. So what that's gonna do is seat that bearing inside of there, get them bearings nice and tight up against the uh, rotors. And then once it kind of stops, not really stops, but kind of starts dragging on them bearings, then we're gonna back it off a little bit, not a whole bunch, just a little bit to the next pretty much uh, castle square, castle over, whatever you wanna call it. You got the idea. Spin it till it don't spin, back it off till it spins. I like to rotate it as I'm tightening it because, well, seat some bearings in it. Come on, baby. And we'll feed the cotter pin. There's actually a hole in the side of this rotor that allows you to put that cotter pin straight down it. Reverse it. Let me see it. You see it? There you go. Boop. That way, you ain't got to fight trying to stick it down and around and down and all this other crazy mess. That's all. The excess off. Make sure your eyes are wide open looking at it when you go to cut that, okay? That way it goes in your eyelid and you don't lose it. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do caliper since it's not hooked up to the steer and I can just throw it this way and it's easy to mess with. Shouldn't have to do anything with the... Ooh, that thing wore down pretty good, too. Hmm. Shouldn't do anything with the caliper itself because we'll use the same brake pads coming off. That went on. Hooked up. Alright. Alright, now this is where all the yelling and cussing might come into place. So, these things are always a booger. Never have the best of luck with these. And well... I just don't like them. Even though they work pretty good. I've never got it to go one the first time like that. Heck yes. All right, see? No explicit content. Went right on in. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's get this up. Well, we haven't quite got the pin system in yet, so maybe that's where it's going to happen. If you look here, this is the keyway. It's going to slide down that. There's like a little window right here. 
That's gonna sit over that little window, sort of something like that. And we're gonna take a bolt, whatever you wanna call it, and locks this in. The fun part, taking that there slot and getting it to slot right there. And it's got one of these kind of spring tension, I don't know, bars on it. That kind of keeps it from this rear caliper from flipping and flopping around. You got to kind of get both of them in there at the same time. Yeah. See? Man. This thing is only working because you guys are watching. So, see here how this is kind of sliding across. It's kind of got tension between these two that what's creating tension between these two as this slides. And this little tension strap is kind of keeping everything nice and tight together. I'm just gonna keep going. bit more there you go all right i'm gonna take this guy put that in there Good and tight. Now you were just in there. Why do you want to go back in there? There we go. In your hole. Alright, we're gonna go crazy with it. Not for this manual labor. All right, I went ahead and threw uh, some grease inside the cap here. I'm going to throw a little bit more down inside here so the outside of it kind of stays nice and lubed up. So it doesn't hurt to keep throwing it in there, huh? And yeah, whatever extra we're just throwing there also. That way when I hit the cap on, all that just right on out. Perfect. Yep. All right. Good enough for me. The inside of that all cleaned up. And it's tire time. This side is done. Now, I still have to put the inner tire right or hit the bolt on that. Uh, my plan there is just get that when I do the front uh, sway bar bushing. Which, you know, I'll show you guys how to put front sway bar bushing. And we're sure to do the side ones. It's the exact same thing, just a different location. And well, inner tie rod. Same thing as the outer tie rod. Push it up in his taper. Lock the nut down. Tighten up until it doesn't tighten no more and put the cotter pin in. There you go. That's how you do it. Um, let's get this kind of cleaned up and get this tire back on. So we can check this off the to-do list. All right, time to get the wheel on. Uh, if you notice, I just did a kind of cut in the video. Well, while you guys were away being cut, I went ahead and cleaned all this area. Got everything I needed pretty much the tire back on. Stop that tire on. Uh, well, I also went ahead and added that other sway bar bushing and tightened down the smoke down that uh, inner tie rod. So, done. Now I have to come back, don't have to worry about it. The only thing left now is the tire. 
and we are done. All right, I mean, if you guys want, I can go ahead and start this other side too. Um, but that's totally up to you guys. If y'all want to stick around and uh, watch me do the whole side of the whole thing all over again, um, I can wait. Um, if you want me to, you just let me know. No, no? You, you don't want to see the other side of it then? Okay, fine. We'll get the tire on and get all of our stuff cleaned up. Yep. This will be kind of the end where we finish off. If I get you on there. Come on. You guys sure you don't want to see the other side? I mean, it is the left side. It could be everything could be backwards. Um, I don't mind sticking around. I don't mind you guys sticking around to see. You know, it kind of gets, kind of gets a little boring in here and lonely. Talking to myself, uh, look around, not seeing nobody. So, just let me know. Somebody put no. Okay, all right. I really don't want to show you guys the other side. To be honest with you. It just takes so long when you're recording and doing the maintenance. Guys, it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to get the other side just kind of knocked out. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's a torque down to 85 uh, plus or minus one foot pound. Okay. So 84 to 86 foot pounds. Well, that's what that was anyways. Guarantee it. Uh, guarantee it. <coughs> Oh, hey, you know, calm down. I don't know what all that racket's for. Just trying to get my safety OSHA stand out from underneath there because, well, I can't really lower the truck if there's still jack stand on there. Woohoo! Guys, we are back in action. Look at that. Ooh wee! Hey, no more. Uh, well, I didn't really show the beginning, but that thing was a uh, pretty much leaned out. She's back too, plane. Good go. All right. Well, that is it, guys. That is a wrap for two days' video. I know maintenance on vehicles ain't no fun to watch, but. Like I said, I get bored in here. Might as well bring you guys along, tag along, whatever you wanna do. Uh, not really a thing, you know, hit that fast forward button. Hit that just sweep to the end, whatever you gotta do. Uh, but if you are on here, uh, through sheer coincidence or you search it or whatever, and you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you are sub subscribed, dude, share this out. I just hit somewhere around 900 subscribers. so. Next goal, 1,000 subscribers, so let's see. Maybe I can do it the next month. Maybe I won't. I don't know. If I keep doing these maintenance videos, I definitely, definitely, definitely ain't going to make it to it. But uh, like I said, I want to get these done because I've got a couple other, I've got one big project i got to get in here. Uh, I'll knock that other side out, so that truck's going to be good to go, done. Uh, i got one more truck i got to kind of do some maintenance on because it's going to be another daily driver. Uh, I want to get that out of there, too. Maybe I'll record it. Maybe I'll, I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. But um, all right. Once again, if you are subscribed, share this thing out, guys. Uh, hit that like button, like comment button. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Throw a comment out there. Um, let me know how I could have done this better. I'm sure everybody out there watching is saying, "Do this. Do that." There's got to be a better way, right? So just let me know. Let me know if there's a better way. Um, oh yeah. Also, by the way. Did I tell you guys about these uh, Sweet Patina Tech wipes? Oh my gosh. So, just did all that greasy work. I've been sitting here talking for probably, well, I don't know, 42 seconds, 48 seconds, whatever. Um, and look, hold on, don't look to it. Don't look, to, don't, don't look just, uh, look. Shh. I can go to dinner with these hands, all right? So, all right guys, that's it. That is a wrap. Thanks a lot for sticking around. We will see you guys next time.